Hey guys, it's Joey again. I, I'm back for another video here. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over a few quick comparisons between the ICOM ICV82 and the Baofeng UV5R Plus ham radios since I now own both of them. Oh, and for the record, I still have not figured out how to program the Baofeng because uh, it's darn near impossible and I think I'm going to have to probably have somebody do it for me because um, I've tried everything and <laughs> I just can't figure it out. I know it's possible to do it, but my buddy Colin said he had the same problem with his, so I know it's not just me. Anyway, let's start off with the ICOM. Take a look right here. Well, y'all all know what this one looks like, obviously, but, um, but yeah. And let me take off the battery here. Okay. And I went over this in my last video, too. Um, uh, this is an ICOM BP-222N. It says it's a Japan battery, but packed in China. But take a look at that, 7.2 volts, 600 milliamp hours, which is pretty good. Lasted me through a whole day of rail fanning yesterday, but wait till you see this. By co and see, this is a pretty big battery, as you can see. I mean, it's, it's freaking huge. I mean, just look at it. I mean, dang. <laughs> By comparison, the Baofeng battery... Let me just uh, take this off real quick. Okay. It is less than half the size, right? This is the BL5 battery from Baofeng. Now look at that. 7.4 volts, 1800 milliamp hours. That's three times the capacity of the ICOM battery, okay? And 0.2 volts higher than the ICOM battery as well. Now, uh, it is, of course, made in China because, you know, it is a Chinese company, but my buddy Barry says he's gone over a week without having to charge the thing, so that's that's good. Now, um, another thing, and another thing I thought would be worth noting is look at the size comparison. ICOM, Baofeng. Look how much smaller that is. This thing is tiny. I mean, just look at it. That's that's freaking incredible. Like how much smaller the Baofeng is. Now, one reason why I bought the Baofeng was because a lot of times when I would like, here, I'm just gonna show you a little demonstration. See what like when I clip. I mean, sure it fits, but it kind of weighs down my pants a little bit. I don't have the bell clip on the bow thing, but look how much more, look how much less room that takes up. That's amazing. And there's something else that I actually forgot to show you in the last video because I wasn't sure exactly what button it was, but um, I'll go ahead and mention this. This is something else that the ICOM does not have, but give me just a minute. Frequency mode. I just ignore that. Anyway. <clears throat> If you push this button right here, this third button, LED flashlight. Press it again. Turns into a strobe. Turn, touch it again, it turns off. So let's do that one more time. And finally, we'll turn it off. So that's pretty cool. Um, now, the other thing is, with this, with the icon, you got a power button that you have to turn on, and the volume right here. On the Baofeng, you've got this is the volume and the power button. Mode. See? Anyway, but that's um, same concept 
uh, pretty much, but a uh, little bit different. A little bit different. Uh, it's got pretty much the same features, but this is the thing that really gets me. Frequency mode. Take a look at this real quick. When I try to... Remember how I said I was having trouble programming this? Watch this. One. And I'm sure most of you had the same problem. Six. One. One. Nine. And then when I try to do zero, zero, it goes straight back to 175. I have been trying to find a way to override that. I do not know how to do that. I'm sure there's a way. But I just don't know how to do it. I think I'm going to have to have somebody actually uh, program it for me. Because... Um, the owner's man this owner's manual says nothing about programming it. There's a website that I looked at that gave you a few steps. I thought I did all those steps, but apparently they must have said they must have given you the wrong directions or I must have missed a step or two because it hasn't worked. I really don't know what to say of that. But anyway, the last comparison I wanted one of the last two comparisons I wanted to go on is also the fact that you push this to push the top button and it doesn't transmit this one you have to be careful because it does and as I said in the last video if you get caught you can uh, have the feds after you and I am not going to go to prison so that's not happening so obviously I'm going to have to be very careful about the way I hold this radio I think if I hold it like that or like this It'll be fine. Uh, the final difference I wanted to make was... Let the camera focus for a minute. Yep, you see that? Made in Japan. The ICOM is made in Japan. So, ICOM is Japanese. Right? Baofeng, as all of y'all know already, is made in China. So it's Chinese. Now, the battery for the ICOM is made in China, I believe. Um, I don't know if it says made in China anywhere on this radio, but I'm sure most all of you uh, could probably... Um, oh, wait. Look at that. It does say that. Wait for it to focus a minute. Yeah, see right there. Original in China. Yep. One other thing I think I should probably make note of is exclusively for online sales on eBay, Amazon, and Radiotity Store, you cannot find this radio on Baofeng's website. This is basically an updated version of the UV5R called the UV5R Plus. So, anyway, that takes care of that, and that's my comparison video with the ICOM ICB82 versus the Baofeng UV5R Plus. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day. Oh, and maybe give one of these radios a try. I guarantee it's worth it. Take care.